Long before COVID, new connections had been forming between emerging nations. This shuffling in the global order would have an outsized impact on the race for a vaccine. In early 2020, three very different platforms sought World Health Organization approval. Highly experimental messenger RNA delivers a targeted nucleic acid blueprint for antibodies. Viral Vector enlists a modified version of one virus to produce antibodies against another. And Inactivated Vaccine, which uses a weakened version of the coronavirus itself to stimulate antibodies. But regardless of platform, every vaccine must pass a rigorous set of clinical trials to prove their effectiveness in humans. We accelerated all of that for COVID-19 into the space of about a year by kind of overlapping the study. So you start the phase one study, but you already begin preparations for the phase two. 你在做一二 the Chinese government actually controlled the pandemic situation. And to conduct the clinical trial phase three of uh, uh, Sinopharm vaccine, you need to uh, be in the pandemic situation to test or to check the efficacy of uh, the vaccine. With a slowing infection rate, Sinopharm must search for countries to help run clinical trials. In 2020, of the 11 places they found, the UAE boasted one of the most diverse populations in the region. If you go back to the history of the UAE, you will find that uh, it is rooted in trade and connections as a midpoint between the East and the West. There is a balance between tradition and modernity, which I think is also reflected in the Chinese culture. The challenge was, was equitable distribution of vaccines, not only to the higher income countries, but also to the rest of the world. So it was an attractive option to get Chinese vaccines into their countries more quickly, and those vaccines worked. This is for us the first time to conduct a trial uh, where we have to recruit thousands of volunteers and I thought we'll face some challenge, but it was the opposite. We recruited a total of 44,000. Uh, our volunteers, they are coming from 125 nationalities. So conducting a trial in UAE will give you a good uh, mix of different ethnic uh, groups. Sinopharm's vaccine would be the first Chinese inoculation to obtain WHO's emergency use authorization with an efficacy of 86%. The trials also revealed another advantage of inactivated vaccines. People tend to trust the traditional method. And this is what we've noticed here in UAE. We have one of the highest vaccination rate. I think uh, we learned a hard lessons from uh, fighting the pandemic. And uh, you can see wherever there is a better collaboration among the countries and they reach the better result. <laughs>